Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another fall DIY. This time around, it did not cost me anything. Yes, you heard right. It did not cost me anything to make this fall DIY because I already had everything on hand. This time around, I am making a pumpkin made out of wine corks. I found this idea last year on Pinterest, but I never got around to making it last year. So this year I made it a mission to make my pumpkin made out of wine corks. Now I love wine and I do have wine often. So anytime I do have wine, I always save my wine corks because I think it's a great way to decorate and make DIYs with. So I'm super excited that I finally got around to making my pumpkin made out of wine corks. I've been wanting to do it, like I said, for a while and just have not done it. So I'm super excited that I finally made my pumpkin made out of wine corks. I love the way it turned out and I definitely will be displaying it somewhere in my kitchen because it turned out super cute. Also, this video is going to be in collaboration with my friend here on YouTube, Bianca. Her YouTube channel is called Bianca and B. And she also will be making a fall DIY for you guys. So please head over to her channel and check out what she decided to make as her fall DIY. Show her some love and let her know that I sent you. Bianca has so many great videos over on her channel. She does a lot of home related videos and a lot of DIY. She is super creative when it comes to her DIY. So I promise you guys, you will love her. So please, when you are done here watching my fall DIY, head over to her channel and show her some love. Her links will be down below in my description box. And if you are coming over from Bianca's channel, then hello, welcome. My name is Jillian. I am a stay-at-home mom to two little ones, ages four and five. And I enjoy doing so many different videos over here on my channel, such as mommy-related, cleaning, organizing, DIYs, hauls, shop with me. So if you're into any of those types of videos, I would really love if you'd consider subscribing and joining me and my YouTube family. So now let's just jump right into how I made my pumpkin made out of wine corks. Okay guys, so these are all the supplies that you are going to need to make this pumpkin made out of wine corks. So of course you are going to need some wine corks. You are going to need a hot glue gun. You're also going to need some paint. I decided to go with two different oranges. You don't have to choose two different oranges, but I did. You're also going to need some type of green leaf and then also some Spanish moss. And that is all the supplies that you will need to make this pumpkin DIY. Okay guys, so for the first step, I am going to be putting some of the paint down on a piece of paper. I would normally use a paper plate, but I was out of paper plates. So I'm just adding some paint of each color on the paper. Then I'm just gonna take each wine cork and on the smaller side, I'm just going to dip the wine cork into the paint. And I'm gonna go back and forth between each color and I'm going to continue this process until I am done with all of my wine corks. If you want more of a smoother surface on your wine cork, then I would suggest using a paintbrush. I did just dip mine so it wasn't that smooth but it still works. Okay, so for this next step, I am now going to start gluing all the wine corks together. So on the first row, I did glue six wine corks together and I would do one dark orange and then one light orange and I just kept on doing it that way. So the first row is six wine corks. The second row is going to be seven wine corks. Then your third row is going to be six wine corks again. And then your fourth one would be five wine corks. And then the last row, which is row five, is going to be four wine corks. And then I also did add on the top one single wine cork to be the little stump of my pumpkin.
So here you just see me adding a little bit of the glue from the hot glue gun and placing just one single wine cork on the top and that is going to act as the little stump of your pumpkin. And then I'm just going to glue down this leaf. I just had it left over from some flowers from Dollar Tree so I used that and then I ended up just gluing a little bit of moss on to the leaf and that was the final step of making my pumpkin made out of wine corks. Okay guys, so this is the finished results of my pumpkin. It does not look perfect, but I think it still turned out pretty cute. It doesn't look exactly like the Pinterest picture, but anytime I do a Pinterest little hack, it never turns out completely the same, but I do like the way it turned out. The paint is still a little wet. I was very impatient on waiting for the paint to dry, so the paint is still a little wet, still needs to dry, but overall, I think it turned out beautiful. Like I said, it did not cost me anything to make make this DIY because I already had all the supplies on hand. So it was a super simple and affordable quick DIY and I love the way it turned out. Okay guys, so that is going to end my fall DIY for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and that you're also enjoying all of my fall related DIYs that I have been doing here over on my channel. All of my other fall DIYs that I have been doing, I will link down below just in case you missed any of those videos. And also please remember to head over to Bianca's channel and check out what she made as her fall DIY and show her some love. Let her know that I sent you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.